What is good, YouTube? It's been a long time coming. It's your boy Ashley Royan. I'm back here again with another video, and this video is actually highly, highly requested. It's my compressor settings for my IG video. Um, if you haven't checked my last video, it's like best export settings for IG videos so you can get the best picture you can on IG video. So like I said in my last video, when you upload high quality things to Instagram, it's gonna take a hit because of all the compressing that it does. So the point of compressor is to take that clip and downsize it, but still keep your high quality, which is great because even though it lowers the file size, it still keeps the best quality available. And then you will post that to Instagram and it's, it's, it's just a perfect combo. So let me show you guys how to do this. Okay, so now that we have compressor open, just a quick disclaimer before we go through this tutorial. If your color grading is very heavy, compressor is it's going to look like trash i'm just going to be honest with you because it's trying to compress all that data in your color grading that it's just going to look very very terrible so if you're trying to make a video for instagram my tip is don't color grade very heavily but if you're not let's get into it so what you're going to want to do is go to this video sharing service tab go to 1080 because that's the highest you're going to get you're not posting 4k on instagram you're going to want to duplicate this once you duplicate it uh name it i'm just gonna name this ig2 because i already have my instagram one right here i don't know what this one is for let me actually delete this um once you come here in your ig2 it's gonna show you the settings that the preset has but this is where we change it so right here it's not in the drop down menu you're gonna have to change this to 1080 by 1080 um be aware that this is going to change back to 720 so just make it 1080 once again and it should stay your pixel aspect ratio you're going to want to go to square because the square video of instagram your frame rate uh if you're not making like very cinematic stuff you could click automatic um or you know 2997 which is 30 frames per second but since i do like cinematic stuff and i always want that uh movie look i guess you could say i always go to 24 frames per second um field view i said field view field order my fault you're going to want to make it progressive color space once again automatic um rec 709 which is the regular color spacing once again if you have heavy color grading this is going to look horrible so do not color grade heavily for instagram it's just going to look bad the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your quick time settings and change your quality to best that way when instagram compresses your video you still have a great looking video um, after you do that, you want to go to your data rate and set it to automatic. A quick disclaimer too, sometimes if you don't hit automatic on the data rate and you come to your quick time settings, it'll stay at high. It won't go to best. So make sure this is on automatic and then you're going to be able to change it to best. Um, even if you're in this menu, you actually don't have to go to your data rate right here. You can just put it to like right here and it'll switch it. Okay, so all your settings should look like this. If all your settings look like this, you have now completed the tutorial. You can now add your file. I'm just gonna add um, this clip of New York City. If you scroll down, you go to your custom. It's gonna be a little custom tab right here. You go to your IG. And once you do that, you export it through compressor or like I did in my last video, once again, I'll link it up top you can actually use compressor in final cut so you don't have to come all the way to compressor to use it now that you have your settings and everything is saved your preset will actually show up in final cut now now we're at the end of the tutorial if this tutorial helps you i will greatly appreciate it if you drop a like and comment down below let me know if this tutorial worked for you if it didn't let me just know in the comments and i'll troubleshoot you and help you and see where you went wrong if you did go wrong if it just didn't work out for you I don't know why, because it works for me. Also, if anybody else is using compressor and you have better settings, let me know down below. That way, I mean, I won't even have to make a new video. You could just check down below and I could be like, I could highlight it and say, also check these settings and see if it works better for you. Basically, we're trying to get the best quality for Instagram because it is so terrible when you sit there and you make a dope video and it's just dope. And then you upload it to Instagram and you're like, what the f you know? But once again, if this video likes you, smack up that like button drop a comment down below and that's basically all with that being said it's your boy ash norrell and i'm signing out peace